Lema GmbH. We launch your wishes. The ice rescue and survival suits IC nine thousand and one and IC nine thousand and two. With the ice rescue and survival suits type Ice Commander nine thousand and one and nine thousand and two, Lema GmbH offers two professional suits that were specially designed for ice rescue missions. They can, however, equally be worn for rescue missions on water aboard lifeboats. These suits are already in use on a wide scale across North America and have been suggested by organizations such as the U.S. Coast Guard and the Accident Prevention and Insurance Association Transport of Canada. The significant difference to other comparable suits is its bright yellow color. This makes the suit, even in conditions of inclement weather, visible. At night time, the color is reinforced by additional reflectors on arms, shoulders, and the head area. Both suits fit all sizes between one meters fifty and two meters body length. The suits are worn above the regular clothing of the rescue personnel. Only the shoes have to be removed beforehand. Adjustments to proper leg and arm lengths are made with movable Velcro tapes on the underarm and thigh sections of the IC nine thousand and one, and tug straps with buckles in the leg and crotch sections of the IC nine thousand and two. The suits have removable linings that guarantee a highest level of insulation and buoyancy. Thanks to the insulation index, the so-called clothing factor of 0.96, the suit enables its wearer to partake in missions of up to 12 to 15 hours of duration. The suits have a buoyancy rate of 117 N. That's roughly 50 N more than comparable suits offer. The resulting buoyancy safety enables the secure rescue of persons without endangering the rescuers. Further advantages of the suit are its relatively low own weight of 5.9 kilograms and the compact packing ability, which enables to stow the suit efficiently in rescue vehicles. Unlike other survival suits that have boots with heavy steel caps in the toe area, the Ice Commander suits have double-layered boots made of extra-resistant rubber. This and the tight-fitting neoprene head cap optimize carrying comfort and movability. The rescuer can affix either ice pikes or short fins to the boots. For safety reasons, we recommend wearing a safety helmet during missions on ice. Additional padding of the knees, buttocks, and elbows prevent the suit from being damaged. Both suits have a four-point safety belt with a life belt in the chest area that spreads the drag forces of the safety and retaining lead equally across the chest area. A special fitting with an additional back triangle on the safety belt was specially designed for rescue missions in water and strong currents. Both standard size suits have affixed waterproof gloves with fleece lining. A special size without gloves but with neoprene sealing members is only available for the Ice Commander 9001. Special five finger gloves are available in the accessories area. Both suits have an extra compartment along the arms, which is designed for small tools such as the ice nails, which are available in the accessories area. So, what's the difference between the IC nine thousand and one and the IC nine thousand and two? The Ice Commander nine thousand and one is sealed by using the vertical zip that ends at the side of the ear. The Ice Commander nine thousand and two is sealed by a diagonal zip. Thus, the size adjustments of the suit are made with the help of tug straps in the leg area. Additionally, the IC nine thousand and two has further adjustment capacities for different step lengths. The sealed neoprene head cap has a zip on the rear side in order to make adjustments for different head sizes. Furthermore, the IC nine thousand and two is equipped with a neoprene mouth protector that can be shut when necessary.